Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I have an awesome tutorial for you guys on how to actually play as a dolphin, a hammerhead shark, a regular shark, a stingray, and also, last but not least, a fish. Now, this is an awesome, awesome, very, very easy tutorial to do. All you need to do is go ahead and dive into a location, swim down to the bottom, and eat a peyote plant. Now, if you're not familiar with the peyote plants, what they do is basically cause you to hallucinate, and even though this hallucination is like completely real, you can swim around, you can fight people, you can actually, as a shark, eat some of the people who are swimming underneath the beach if you guys want to do that. So uh, here's the location right here. What you need to do is just go ahead and dive under here and maybe showing you kind of like a little guide to actually getting down here because some people don't show it very well. But what you need to do is actually line yourself up with this pillar that is right in front of you. It kind of sticks out farther than the rest of them. And whenever you line up, take a few swims backwards and then go ahead and dive down. Now it's going to be at the bottom of this pillar to the left a little bit if you're kind of looking at the direction that I am right now. Just kind of swim down, go down, and then all you need to do is just hammer left on the D-pad or right on the D-pad rather. Go ahead and grab the peyote and start eating it and you will start to hallucinate now the first one that got right here is a shark and if you would like to try all the different sea animals what you need to do is just go ahead and save your game right before this turn off auto saving because it will auto save right when you grab it so go ahead and turn off auto saving save your game right before you jump down and as you can see i am playing as a great white shark now the shark all you can do is just swim around you can uh you can swim around and then obviously you have your attack maneuver now some of them uh they don't have attack maneuvers that are kind of like passive animals which would be kind of cool to sting someone as a stingray but all you can do is just kind of like swim around and then if you want to swim faster you can tap the x button or the a button if you're on the xbox one and you'll actually be able to swim faster so the stingray is pretty darn harmless there's really nothing he can do but it is very very cool and one of these is very very rare to actually find in gta 5 whenever you're just kind of going around so I, I saw some gameplay of someone actually finding one in the wilderness but these things are very very hard to find so uh this is this is just kind of like a cool little look at them to be able to see what the stingrays actually look like in gta 5 and uh how that how they actually maneuver and everything like that so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have seen this we actually have two more gameplays to go through right here so let me go ahead and switch over to the next one here which is a hammerhead shark that is right the hammerhead sharks do exist in gta 5 and they are very easy to find all you need to do to find these guys in the wilderness is just go ahead and go on a boat you can go swimming out there and they're actually kind of harmless now this one can attack people you can bite people as this version of them but the hammerhead sharks and the found in the wilderness will not attack you, you can actually just hop up on the boat and shoot them and i've actually been doing a gameplay kind of like a playthrough of killing all the animals in GTA 5 next gen and the hammerhead sharks is one of the ones that I crossed off of my list so you can check those gameplays out on my channel and last but not least we have the pretty much the worst one you can get but also probably the, probably the funniest one is the fish right here the fish all you can do literally is just swim faster there's really nothing you can do and uh, there's really nothing special about it but it is pretty cool to play as a fish in GTA 5 but other than that guys that is about it for this gameplay I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did a like would be very very much appreciated make sure you subscribe for the latest and greatest GTA 5 videos and also my full peyote locations guide. This is episode 3, so if you'd like to check out my other two episodes, you can find that in the description. I have a couple more locations that I haven't posted yet, but I will get those up as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.